Hello, my subscribers and others. For my subscribers, you can see I'm wearing a different outfit. Why am I wearing a different outfit? Because it's holidays time. It's Christmas time. It's Hanukkah time. It's the time of New Year's. And first and foremost, I want to thank you and share my holiday wishes. And I'm going to do it in an unusual way. I mean, I could say beautiful things and maybe they would affect you about how strongly I feel about this time of year and people and kindnesses and sharing and love and good times and memories. But the one I'm going to share is about peace. And it's a moment in time that I happen to make a film that this little clip you're about to see is a part of. It's a beautiful story. It involves a total secret by a president of the United States a secret that Congress never knew until he did it, that all of his administration never knew until he did it, that he gathered something like 80 people around him and did without anyone's approval that I thought absolutely extraordinary. And it's a story probably you don't know. So it involves President Eisenhower, 1957. It's the time of the Cold War. It's the time when things are scary. We are in a Cold War with the threat of nuclear war constantly, and the Russians have put up a satellite. And in 1957, they put up Sputnik 1 and then Sputnik 2, and we're struggling to put up a rocket, to have a successful rocket launch. And we managed to do it, but we looked to be behind them, and it looks to be very threatening. And the Democrats, he's a Republican, Eisenhower, are saying, we gotta build more missiles, we gotta attack, this is really scary. Eisenhower's not paying attention. You got to build more missiles. This is an arms race. They're going to get us. So there's a lot of tension in the country. And Eisenhower does, on December 18th, 1958, Project SCORE. Totally secret. Totally beautiful. He says something to the world that you will not believe. Something I know that at this time of the year, in our churches, in our temples, I think in our mosques, although I'm not familiar with that, we talk about peace on earth, goodwill towards men. I share that right now, this holiday season, but hopefully the video will run all year and you'll remember this moment. Project SCORE, President Eisenhower, December 18, 1958, taken from a documentary film I made on Sputnik and the effect on America. As Christmas approached, Eisenhower attempted to pull off one of the most daring acts of any American president. He developed a top secret project codenamed SCORE with a team of 88 hand-picked civilians and soldiers. They built an audio tape player designed to be launched into space that would play a personal message from the president that everyone, everywhere could hear. Eisenhower was so determined to keep SCORE a secret, it would be launched without the awareness or approval of Congress, the military, or even the CIA. Less than a minute remains in the countdown. Eight, seven, six, five, eight. Newsman Jay Barbary saw it all. It launched at 6.02 p.m. Once the satellite was in orbit, a radio signal was sent from the ground to start the tape recorder that keeps playing over and over a message of seasoned greetings from the United from the President of the United States. After he heard his voice from space, President Eisenhower said to the press, that's one of the most astounding things. 
Maybe the next thing they'll do is televise pictures. After SCORE, many government leaders were furious at what Ike had done. They called SCORE an expensive stunt, orchestrated by a president in trouble. But it was not. SCORE symbolized the future. For Eisenhower had given us the world's first communication satellite. That is an amazing story. It profoundly affected me when I learned about it. The first communication satellite, a voice from space, yeah, it's hard to hear, but it's just beautiful. So I'm going to try to share more of these stories to give you viewers who are taking the time to watch me and what I present uh, a good feeling. And I ask one thing back of you. It's a hard one. Watch the advertisements. If you watch the ad, I get a penny or so, and it matters to me. I don't want to ask for money. I'm trying to make a living from YouTube, not succeeding yet, but getting there. So if you can turn away, have a sandwich, look at the sky, hug a friend, think, and let the ad run, it, I make something from it. I know that isn't easy because I push skip this ad frequently myself. Thank you very much. You have a good holiday, and if you're watching this at another time, Peace on earth, goodwill towards men and women.